First half. Questions for Coach? None? Perfect. They've got things to do. <laughs> right over here. Right behind you, Steve. Sorry. You talked about cleaning up. Right over here, Mark. You talked about cleaning up coverage. What did you see? And just you know, I know you kind of mixing some guys in there. What did you just see out of your secondary that you want to clean up? Well, tackling and, and doing your job are, are the two main things. We had a couple couple times where guys are peeking around to, you know, we had we, we again we didn't do a ton defensively, and what we wanted or what we did obviously you want to do cleanly and do it well. And uh, had some first time guys back there trying to peek in the backfield, to peek on somebody that's not their assignment or a fit that's not their job, uh, and they just need to tackle better. Uh, first game, you're always concerned about tackling, just of, of, of uh, you know, the amount of live stuff you can really do in, in preparation for that. And obviously, we, we didn't do that well. It wasn't necessarily, um, I think, a lack of hitting. Just that our, you know, technically didn't need to get that done. And that's on us as coaches, and we'll, we'll fix it. Front left, Jerry. Yeah, I've kind of touched on it. Uh, first impression: What are you most encouraged by? What are you maybe most disappointed by? What am I most encouraged by? What am I most disappointed with? My hairline. <laughs> and encouraged um, for the most part, you know, and again, we'll watch the film and get, get with those guys. Uh, guys were aware of things. And, you know, what I mean by that is we, if we, you know, miss a protection they instantly knew or, you know, uh, an adjustment or something that we're trying to, to do offensively, defensively, or in special teams, for those guys to, to recognize what they do quickly, that sounds like a, an unimportant thing, but that's a huge thing down the road. Um, you know, Royce Freeman's really good. Uh, I like our depth at tailback. There's a lot of things to like and a lot of things to clean up uh, you know, after, after the first game. On the left, AJ. Over here, Coach. Um, Coach, obviously you haven't seen the film yet, but Vernon Adams' his performance today, give us your evaluation based on, without seeing film, what you know now. Solid. You know, he, he did some, some good things um, naturally that he does from an athletic standpoint, a feel standpoint, uh, uh, and then had a few just unforced errors. The, the fumble, um, a couple couple wide open guys that, that, you know, that he just tried to, you know, guys try to hand them the ball when they're wide open sometimes. Um, but uh, the, the good thing for the, for the mistakes he made, they're going to be just, oh my gosh, you know, why did I do that type of things on film? And he'll, he'll, you know, again, he's already the first guy that, that's been his biggest critic. And that, you know, the, guy, the guys in general, they're, they're, they're taking this win hard, which I never like to see. <laughs> you know, winning is hard enough. On the right, Tyson. But it's also a good thing, if you like. Mars over here. Um, obviously, you guys kind of knew what you had with Royce going into this game, but with, with a guy like Kanai and Tony behind them, you guys can pick up so much during practice, but was there anything specific that you guys wanted to see them do in this game situation? And just kind of your thoughts on this game. Hopefully, um, in, in those guys' uh, uh, instances, you just want, want them to continue to do what they've done. They've been really solid. Um, Tony has really worked to, to catch the ball better um, and, and you know, trying to get him involved in that. We tried to tonight, and it just didn't work out. It wasn't his fault, necessarily. Uh, can I just be consistent? He's always been a tough guy to tackle. Um, in, in our scrimmages, in our live situations, he's, he's done really well. And you just want to see those, those new guys do, you know, do what they've done in, in training and not have the lights you know, turn anything off or turn anything on that you don't want. Front left here, Matt. Mark, with Vernon and Hagerty in and all the other new guys, how, how was your impressions of the tempo and the way you guys were going? Okay. You know, we had, again, some, some hiccups just in our operation, whether it was uh, a line call being made right at the snap and, and somebody either too quick or too 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 slow. Um, very common, but nothing you want to allow. So we'll, we'll fix that. But in, again, in general, as far as what we ask those guys to do, which is a lot, um, uh, you know, it was pretty good. All right, Jason. Mark, earlier this week you said you love the unknown at the end of this game. Do you still love the unknown? And are there still unknowns about this game? Um, well, sure. Yeah, there, there's definitely still unknowns, um, and I love solving the unknown the best. I like, I like getting that accomplished. Um, but that, that's, I think, a, 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 again, a tribute to these guys is, is there's a lot of guys in there that are, that are fairly happy, and, and they, they're, you know, committed to improvement, committing to getting, getting better, committed just to being, you know, in, in solution mode starting tomorrow, and uh, that's, that's really all you can ask for. Over on the left. Uh, 
Hey, Coach. Um, earlier, you talked about you described Kanai Benoit as a as a weird runner. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Kanai's just weird in general. No, Kanai's a, Kanai's a he's a good kid and he's kind of goofy, and so we have fun with Kanai. But uh, he's he just kind of is oddly angular sometimes, just of how he 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 just doesn't take a square shot. Uh, he's kind of you know got a little high knee running style, and, and again just doesn't give you a, a a clean shot or a square shot. Um, so I think that's what I meant by that. Middle. Mark, uh, Vernon got hit hard, <clears throat> left the game, left the sideline, came back. Does that tell us that he does not have a concussion? Will he be tested for a concussion? And then do you think it was a cheap shot? I won't answer your last question. Uh, I will say you're a smart man on your first question. <laughs> think he might. Think he might have a concussion? Oh, he's no. a smart man because you're seeing it correctly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to take fan for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Always want to help. Finally, somebody in here has my back. I appreciate that. <laughs> back right, Crystal. Let the record show that was Aaron Fentress. <laughs> Uh, Mark, it looks like the first five. Oh, here, it looks like the first five offensive possessions you guys ended with a touchdown. What was that energy going into that game where you guys were able to click? <laughs> yeah, somebody said that to me at halftime that we had the one fourth down drive, and it just never feels like that. You know, you're trying to be perfect, you're trying to execute in the in the heat of the game, and and again, there were so many things that that could have, would have, should have been uh, easier, and maybe that maybe that's good that they weren't as as easy and kind of uh, you know grounded out, um, but. We've, pra we've been practicing well, we've been practicing efficiently, and, and went out there and, and executed the way you know we'd love to. All right, we good? All right, thank you. Thanks, Coach.